Ooh. Okay, I think it's live. Oh Lord. I think it's live. Oh. Oh, share to group. What is this? I can share to a group. Vegan bubble so let's see if that works. Hi everybody. What's up, peeps? All right, this is what we're going to do. We're going to cook a little bit. Let me put my apron on. Hold on. So, I'm going to make a whole mess. Okay. Hi. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's do it. We put our apron on. You gotta get the apron on. Sorry, Periscope. I don't know why it's so bright. I do not know. Yes, we chef chef today. Okay. All right. Okay, y'all ready? <laughs> what we gonna do first? You know what I think we should do? Go make the drink first, huh? Come on, we must go make the drink first. What we waiting on? Hey y'all. Hi everybody. All right, let's do a drink. This is gonna be a real this is a this is a real easy one. This is a real easy one. This is gonna be real easy. Let me get some ice for the cocktail shaker. So we're gonna do a daiquiri, all right? We're gonna do a blood orange daiquiri today, all right? So I've got blood orange juice, right? Uh, this is ice. If you don't know what this is, this is ice. Excuse me. Ice don't have a mother or a father, okay? In case you were wondering. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, sorry YouTube, y'all kinda, there you go, a little more. You see my face a little bit, okay? Here we go. We're gonna put the um the blood orange mix in here. And you save a little room. Okay. Now, if this was a margarita, we use tequila, right? If it was a martini, we use vodka. But it is a oh y'all can't see over here. Hold on. Let me fix y'all. There you go. Okay, but it's a daiquiri, so we're gonna use Bacardi rum. Now, this is dragonberry rum, okay? Because dragonberry and rum sound like it go real good with blood orange, okay? That's what it sound like to me. That's why we're gonna do it, all right? So you're gonna put a couple of shots of your vodka into a cocktail shaker. Oh, wait. <laughs> Sorry. Cut a couple of shots. Now, the key to a good cocktail is you know you got to shake it for at least 30 seconds, right? You know how that goes. All right? So, you got to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, <laughs> nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Okay? That's a good 30. That's a good, that's a good 30. All right? Here we go. One for you, <laughs> all for me. All right, let me see.
This is what you need. Okay? This what the Bible say. As often as you do this, do this what? It remembers to me. All right, listen. A couple of church announcements real fast. If you haven't joined our Facebook group, make sure you join the Facebook group. It's called Vegan But With Soul. All right? So go to Facebook. Type it in and come join us. Vegan But With Soul. All right? That's number one. Number two, the vegan cookbook is on sale. I'm lying. It's not on sale. It is on sale. It is on sale. The code is still 30% off. It's still gumbo. Okay? DariusCooks.tv. You can go to the store on my site and use the code gumbo. Woo. Gumbo at checkout. Okay? And you can save 30%. All right? The only other announcement I want to tell you real fast is... I'm doing a three-day, and I'm going to say this again throughout while I'm live. I'm doing a three-day simulcast, y'all, called Focus. Everybody keeps asking me, how do you make money online? How do you make money online? It's no secret. I make over seven figures every year consecutively um, on social media. So I'm putting together this eight-week course to show you how I do it. But before I do that, I'm doing a free Masterclass, three days, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, this week. I'm going live every day from my office upstairs, and I'll share with you. If you want to get the presentation, you want to get the PDF, just go to DariusCooks.tv slash focus, okay? That's it. DariusCooks.tv slash focus. It's all there for you. All right? Let's go. Okay. In order to make these collard greens... We're going to put them in the pressure cooker, okay? In the pressure cooker. All right. Pressure cooker. Yes. We have fresh pit, fresh, clean collard greens. Now, listen. I'm, listen. They do this for a reason. Triple washed, cut and clean collard greens. If you want to wash your collard greens from scratch... And pick your, oh, I ain't seen the welcome song. I'm sorry, it's been so long. Hold on. Okay. If this is your first time joining us, take allow me a moment to welcome you to us. Okay, here we go. Okay, y'all ready? Uh, altos over there. Sopranos over there. Tennis, all tennis in the middle. Okay. Female tennis and male tennis in the middle. Here we go. One, two, three. Let the vegan in me. Love the vegan in you. Let the vegan in me. Love the vegan in you. Your easy. Mm, 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 mm. Your easy. Uh, 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 uh. Your easy. Uh, uh. Bop, 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 bop. Easy to love. Huh? You ought to be very, you ought to be welcome. Huh? You ought to be very welcome. How you feel? You feel warm? Good. You ought to. Okay, look. This is what we're going to do. We're going to fill this up with some collard greens. We save these for later, okay? You know what we're going to do after that? I got a little piece of cabbage. I don't know if you know this or not, but cabbage is vegan, okay? I got a little piece of cabbage. Cabbage is definitely vegan. I'm just going to peel off a little bit of the outer layer of the cabbage, okay? Now, we're going to put the cabbage in with the collard greens, I know that the collard greens take longer to cook than the cabbage. But I'm going to be very honest with you. Personally, okay, personally, I really don't mind a little soft cabbage, okay? Personally, I don't mind. 
Because what I'm not going to do is starve this on the pressure cooker, stop this to put this in. I'm not going to do all that. You see what I'm saying? That's not what I'm going to do. If you want to do that, then you go ahead. But I'm trying to tell you what I'm not going to do. Okay? Now, this is a lot of cabbage. So, this is a big one. Okay? Now, we can't eat all this in one sitting. Or else our tomorrow is not going to be bright. Okay? We're going to be busy tomorrow. You eat all this at one time. So, we're going to just cut. We're going to cut up some of this. And the idea is to cut it around the same. <laughs> you know what I mean. Okay? Listen. That cabbage will run you, Doc. Matter of fact, you eat too many of these collard greens. Won't he make you? Huh? Okay, clean inside. We can put a little more in here. What y'all think? A little more? Okay, put a little more cabbage in here. Okay. Now, this, this ain't going to take but about 20 minutes to cook in the pressure cooker, okay? But look, you got to go wash your cabbage off. Please do not take your cabbage and cut it and then put it in there, okay? That is nasty. Dirt is vegan. Don't mean you got to eat it. All right. Once you done rinsed off your cabbage, <laughs> we'll put the cabbage in here. The reason I like this recipe so much is because this is really I'm gonna blow your whole house up. Okay? Don't walk away too fast. Now we're gonna put this in here like this, but you already know that it's gonna cook down. Maybe you don't know. Maybe you don't know. Okay, but if you don't know, this is gonna cook down. Okay? And we're gonna season this from the beginning. Alright? <laughs> we season this from the beginning, alright? So here we go. I gotta put some water in here. Let's do that. We're gonna put a little more. So that way it don't burn. Just a little more. Okay, then we're gonna season it real good. And you ain't got to go overboard because you know this is going to make its own juice. You know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to cook down. Okay. Now let's go on season it. Black pepper. Let me tell you. Black pepper. Liquid smoke, son. Liquid smoke is the key. Okay. Liquid smoke is vegan. Put you a little bit of that in there. Okay. That's about a good tablespoon of liquid smoke. You know what that's going to do? It's going to make it taste like, it's going to make it, you can already smell it. It make it taste like you got a little piece of smoked meat in there, but we don't, all right? I got vegetable bouillon. This is vegan, okay? So you put you some vegetable bouillon in here, and guess what you end up with? Instant vegetable stock. Uh, stock. That's like smoked, you know? Okay, so you, you got you, we getting there. We getting there, okay? Okay, we need a few more pieces of seasoning. We need this, 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 a little pinch of this. Okay, put you a little Cajun seasoning. Your favorite kind, they ain't giving me no check. All right, so I can't really tell you what this is. When I get a check, I'll tell you, all right? If anybody know these people, they work for them, Darius at DariusCooks.com. Tell them to call me, huh? Okay. All right. Then we got more Cajun seasoning. That was the special Cajun seasoning, okay? We're going to put a little more of this Cajun, like a generic Cajun seasoning. Now, look. The first one I put in there has salt in it, okay? They had the salted Cajun seasoning. This one don't have no salt in it, okay? And the reason you don't want to add much salt is because... We already used the vegetable bouillon, and that's going to be a little salty on you, okay? All right. A little piece of garlic powder. 
Okay, you really can't go wrong with that. That's garlic. That's antioxidants, cancer fighting. Okay, you listen. Anti aging. Print. You know. You see how young I look? Garlic. You know. You put all that in there. All right. And we're gonna put a little piece of onion powder in here too. Okay. Put your little piece of onion powder in here. Now this is a lot of seasoning. Oh, you know what we need? And I don't want to hear your mouth. We need a little sugar. Okay. You need, need a little piece of sugar in here. Okay. The sugar not gonna make it sweet. It's just gonna balance it out. Put you a little sugar in there, okay? And then you need some oil, okay? You need a lot of oil, okay? Oil is vegan, but you're gonna need the oil because collard greens are all about a slick mouthfeel. And you need that because ain't no, ain't no pigtails in here, okay? Ain't no pigtails in here. Ain't no, ain't no smoked turkey in here. So you need that. You see what I'm saying? Make it taste real good. You need that. All right? So this is what we're going to do. Listen, this is seasoned. You hear me? See, I'm just going to stir it a little bit. I'm going to let y'all see what's in here. Look at this. Okay? That is sexy. Th this is sexy. All right? This is amazing. I'm gonna put the lid on. And this ain't gonna take but about, once it start rattling good, it ain't gonna take but about, I think about 20 minutes or so. So we're gonna put this on the heat. Put the lid on, the little cap on, and let that go, all right? And the idea is to come back and check that. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna time it, okay? We're gonna time it. Once we once we hear it, you know, the lid go, it do that. Once it do that, we're going to be all right, okay? Now, look, you know what I was thinking? No, because you ain't in my head. What I was thinking was, we might as well go and fry up some green tomatoes. Huh? I was thinking, why don't we go and fry up some green tomatoes real fast. How bad could that be? Tomatoes are vegan or is vegan. We could fry these up and make a real quick dipping sauce to go with the fried green tomatoes. Y'all, what y'all think about that? Y'all think we'd be all right doing that? I think we would, okay? Now listen, please couple of announcements again. Make sure you join the vegan Facebook group. It's called Vegan But With Soul. If you don't have the cookbook, the code is still available for you to use. It's called Gumbo. Use the code Gumbo and you can save 30%. Um, another announcement I want to tell you is that, um, is this. Everybody keep asking me about how you make money online, like how I make so much money online. And so I'm putting together this course, this eight week course to show you how to do that. But before, I wanna give you a free masterclass, okay? The free masterclass is called Focus. We're gonna start this Wednesday on these same platforms, okay? Wednesday, Thursday, Friday at 9 p.m. Eastern. If you want the presentation and you want the notes, just go to DariusCooks.tv slash focus, okay? Focus, DariusCooks.tv slash focus, all right? Come on. These is tomatoes, okay? We're going to go and cut these up a little bit. So we're going to cut these into thick slices. Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. All right, we're going to cut these into thick slices. Look at that. You see that? Okay, that's a green tomato. A green tomato is basically an unripened red tomato. It's green before it turned red. And if you coat it in cornmeal and deep fry it with a little piece of hot sauce, they delicious and vegan, okay? So what we're going to do is, 
Let's go on make a little piece of seasoning for the tomatoes, huh? Let's put some Cajun seasoning, the kind with the salt, a little garlic powder. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Woo! A little more Cajun seasoning. Oh, Lord Jesus. Woo! Excuse me. Woo! Ah! <coughs> Get out of here. The devil don't want me to win. Uh uh. Okay, and this is a little ground fennel. Whoa, Lord Jesus. Okay, little ground fennel. Okay, this is gonna be our um. Maybe a little pinch of salt too. What y'all think? A little piece of salt going in here, good. Maybe a little more piece of salt, cause you really these don't got no seasoning. Okay, so we done made this, we done made this uh, Cajun, this Cajun seasoning situation. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to lay our tomatoes out on this plate. Okay, and pray that this seasoning don't get me good. All right. Then we're just going to season and like let them sit up for a little bit and marinate. Now we're going to double season these, don't worry. We're going to double season these. I'm going to show you what I mean in a minute. Because you really want to taste this, all right? So we put the seasoning on one side. Then we're going to flip it over and put the seasoning on the other side. And then while the greens is cooking and the tomatoes are marinating, what we're going to do real fast is we're going to go in here and make this bread pudding, okay? See, these are the tomatoes. I know it's kind of bright. I really can't control the light. I don't really know why the light doing that on, on YouTube and on Periscope. Or oh, Periscope, there you go. Maybe a look. I don't really know. It's too bright. I, I shine bright like a diamond. Which, I mean, you know, listen, this little light of mine, I'm letting it shine. Letting it shine, letting it shine, let it shine. I don't really know why it's so bright, but it's bright, okay? But if just imagine, these is our tomatoes that we done, we gonna season again in one second. I can't turn the overhead light off. If I cut the overhead light off, all the lights in the kitchen go off. Sorry. 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 Okay. I don't know what you want me to do. I'm so sorry. All right. Now this is bread okay this is bread this is vegan bread fyi okay vegan bread we're gonna cut this up in a second but we're gonna make and this and this this actually was uh yesterday's bread see look Feb sale by february 10th today is the 11th all right so this is this is day old vegan bread all right, day old vegan bread. This is what we're gonna do. And the reason you want day old is because you really want this to soak up in there. All right, real good. Let's make the custard right fast, huh? Let's make the custard. This is what we're gonna use. Vanilla almond milk. Now this recipe is in the new cookbook, which you can get DariusCooks.tv. Just use the code um, Gumbo, whatever the hell the code is. Use the code Gumbo. Okay. Now this is uh, vanilla. What this is? I don't put it here. <laughs> vanilla almond milk. <laughs> almond milk. Okay. I'm going to put you a pinch of salt in here, okay? A pinch of salt. Then, we're going to go and grab us a little piece. Grab your little piece of uh, brown sugar, okay? A little piece of brown sugar. That's a lot, but that's all right. It's just us. Don't worry. It's just us, okay? 
That's your brown sugar. Okay, with your brown sugar, you're going to add you a little piece of vanilla. This is Mexican vanilla, okay? Put your look, let's put a little more. Okay, a little piece of vanilla going there. All right? This is bread pudding, so we ought to put us a little piece of cinnamon. Put your little piece of cinnamon in there. And then you know we got to put us a little piece of nutmeg. Okay, put us put a... You know what we ought to put in here is a little piece of white Hennessy. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Oof. Oof. Sorry. Allergies. All right, we have fresh um nutmeg. Thank you guys. And we're gonna grate. Fresh nutmeg in here. Isn't this great? Look at this. Vegan. Okay. Who ever thought you could have vegan bread pudding and ain't got to worry about, you know, and I like bread pudding. The thing about bread pudding that I don't like is, um, is the, uh, is the egg part. It'd be too eggy. I don't like that. But this is right up my alley. Okay. Oh, we need some butter. How are we going to do this with no butter? Okay. I got vegan butter. I might as well melt this. Let me just melt this. I got this vegan butter. I can go and melt some of this. Hold on. Okay, so what's this in here? What we got going on? We got, y'all know what's in here? Y'all keeping track, right? Clearly I'm not. We got, um, we got brown sugar, vanilla almond milk, A little pinch of salt, some um, all some nutmeg, some cinnamon, a little piece of vanilla. Listen, that that's what we got in here. Okay, we got some melted vegan butter. You know, about a half a cup or so. Now, what's going to make this really stick to the bread, this is my little thing I like to do that comes out really good every time, is we're going to go and put cornstarch. See, you put your cornstarch in here, and what happens is that the cornstarch, which is vegan, is going to allow the custard to set up real nice on you, okay? But you gotta whisk it in good. Okay, I know it look a little loose. It look a little loose, don't worry, okay? If you if you follow me on the cookbook journey, we made a vegan French toast one time and it came out perfect. Yeah, cornstarch is vegan, okay? Corn don't have a mother and corn don't have a father. Listen, you know I gotta put me a little piece of white Hennessy in here. Hold on, let me go to the bar. I was gonna try to do this without, you know. I was gonna do this without, but you know, you we might as well put a little piece of white Hennessy in here, okay? A little, a little scotch. What y'all think, huh? What you think? A little piece of white Hennessy. Come on now. It's going to really accent this really well. That's all you need. That much white Hennessy. And then we're going to do a little fresh, uh, a little fresh lemon zest. Y'all called it. I knew you called it. I, I tried not to do it. But the devil, you know that? You know that? That white Hennessy demon get on you, doc. That white Hennessy demon, they get on you. And then what you gonna do? You know what I'm saying? Okay, you wanna put you about that much fresh lemon zest in there. It smells so good. It brightens it up a little bit. Okay, and this is our custard. All right, so we got a custard. (coughs) 
All right. Let me go ahead and do this for you real fast. All right. We're going to cut the bread up. All right. Get you a bread knife. Shout out to Auntie Connie who bought me a bread knife because I told her I didn't have one. Okay. So we got a bread knife. And the idea is to cut. Now see. You see how this is? This what you want. Okay. You want nice, crusty, day-old bread. Because day-old bread will make the breast, the, be <laughs> the best bread pudding. Okay. All right. We're going to cut this open. And we're going to cut this into cubes. Okay. Cut it. See, it's still soft in the middle. It's nice and soft in the middle. But the outside is a little crusty on us, okay? Which is what you want. All right. Now we're going to go and cut this up. And I can hear that pressure cooker behind us. All right. It ain't really going yet. It's going to start going. And we're going to count 20 minutes. What time is it? It's 9.54. So about 10.20, we ought to be ready for them collard greens to come on out. Look at that. See? Cube this up, and we're going to put this in the bread. I mean, <laughs> in the bowl. <laughs> Ooh, come on, vodka. I mean, uh, rum. Okay. I think, no, let's put a little more bread in there. I might need a little more bread. Hold on. You hear that? That's going to be good and crusty. And you know what you can do with your leftover bread, too, is you can put your leftover bread in the pan with some vegan butter and make you some uh, vegan croutons for your vegan salad. Okay? So if you say, I got too much bread, I don't know what to do with it, just make you some croutons. Okay? A little bit of smoked paprika, salt and pepper, garlic, you're good to go. Okay, look, this is perfect. This is plenty of bread. And you're gonna put this in here. Now let me just clean this off. Hold the line, please. Hold the line. Okay, let me show you what we got. Here's the bread, okay? The bread is all cut up, ready to go. Guess what else is ready to go? The custard. I don't know about you, but I am my grandmother's grandkid, okay? I am my grandmother's grandkid, and so I would be remiss if I didn't throw some golden raisins in here. You don't have to use raisins if you don't like them. But these are golden raisins that's going to be delicious in here, okay? And I like a raisin. I'm sorry if you don't like them. I like, you know what y'all like? You know what I, let me tell you what I don't like. I don't like pecans. I don't like pecans in my bread pudding. So you know how y'all put the walnuts and the pecans and all that stuff? Y'all could do that. I don't like that. But these raisins, I can eat these all day long, okay? I can eat the raisins all day long, okay? That's just me. Okay, you hear that? You hear that? Pressure cooker is going. Pressure cooker is going, okay? It's 9.57. At 10.20, the greens is coming out, okay? At 10.20, the greens is coming out. Okay, come on. Let's put the custard all over. Now this custard has that white Hennessy and a little bit of the cinnamon. Okay, white Hennessy, cinnamon, brown sugar, vegan butter, the whole bit. 
Now, I don't like this to sit too long, okay? If you do, then that's fine. Me, I don't like that. I like it to sit for a little bit, but not too, too long. All right, we're gonna put these ramekins on a baking sheet like that. Because if you don't, this is going to spill out in your oven and you're going to be shamed. Okay? And we don't want no shame. All right? Now we're going to take some of the filling. Can y'all see this? There you go. And I'm using the glove, okay, because I want to get a good mix of bread and raisins in here. Okay? A good mix of bread and raisins in here. That's one. Look, and here goes two. This is how I like to do mine. Okay? I mean, I like to pile mine up. Like this. I mean, what's the use? Put you a little more custard on top. Not a lot. Just a little bit. All right. All right, you see that? All right, you see what we got? Okay. You see what we got? Oven's preheated to 350 degrees, okay? Bread pudding's gonna go off in the oven to cook up. All right. Let me clean some of this stuff up. And then we could cook up these tomatoes real fast. And then we're going to serve the greens. This is a very sudden meal tonight. I don't know if you noticed, but tonight is a very sudden meal. We're going to serve the greens over some grits. Huh? We're going to serve the greens and the cabbage over. We're going to make a little pot of quick cooking grits. They're going to take long, okay? Because they quit cooking. All right, and they're going to take us long. Let's get some water on. All right, I'm going to put the water on the stove. I think I got to figure out which um which burner back here gonna work. Hold on, I don't know. Oh, this one. Okay, fine. All right, the burner's on the stove. I got a little bit more of this um, vegetable bouillon. Okay, so we're gonna put the vegetable bouillon in the water. So we have basically instant vegetable stock, okay? Let that come to a boil, we're gonna be all right. Meanwhile, on the front stove, we got to light the fire for the, for the, what you call it? Hold on, it ain't gonna light. I gotta be old school. Let me get a little piece of paper. Hold on one second, please. Don't act like y'all ain't never had to do this before. You get you a little piece of paper to light it. Oh Lord, it won't light, Jesus. Oh, there you go. It lit. Okay, it lit. Okay, let's let's season let's season up our tomatoes. 
the second time. See, the first time, they was just marinating. Okay, now, let's get them going good. Now, my grandmama used to use cornmeal for her green tomatoes, okay? Used to use cornmeal. We're going to use corn flour instead, okay? We're going to use Nebraska corn flour instead, okay? Along with the corn flour in this bowl, I got a little bit of that vegan half and half, okay? A little bit of the vegan half and half. Remember the seasoning that we use. I want you to put some of the seasoning in the half and half. I want you to put some of the seasoning in the flour, the corn flour, okay? Now you can use cornmeal if you want to. You could. I'm just not going to. Okay? You can certainly use cornmeal if you want to. So we got seasoning everywhere. All right, this is what we're going to do. We're going to dip the tomato. We're going to double dip. Put your glove on. It's going to get messy. Okay, you dip the tomato into the seasoned half and half. Then you dip the tomato into the corn flour. You dip it back in the season half and half. Huh? And you dip it back in the corn flour one more time. Okay? This is what you call double dip. See that? Double dip. Okay, come on. We're going to dip the tomato right here. And then we're going to dip it in here. We're going to dip it back in there. And dip it back in here. Okay, meanwhile, let's put the oil on on that, on that skillet. I'm using uh, corn, <laughs> corn oil. Huh? I'm putting corn oil in here. <laughs> you know why I'm using corn oil? Because corn oil was on sale. The reason I'm using corn oil is because corn oil was on sale. Okay? What kind of oil do you use? The kind that's on sale. Okay? Look, dip it once, dip it twice. And this is why I like doing it in the corn flour because you could do this in the cornmeal but it ain't going to get that crispy like this here finna be. Okay? The thing about a green tomato is it's got to be nice and like crispy. And this going to get us there. Okay? And you're going to season the flour. You're going to season the tomato. And you're going to season the half and half. Okay? And this is why you use a glove because it get a little messy on you. Okay? It, it will get messy. I can't really control that part, but it will get definitely messy on you. Okay? All right. And I, I, I imagine you could do the same thing with other vegetables. You know, if you wanted to make onion rings this way, you could do onion rings the same way. If you wanted to fry up some zucchini, you can certainly fry up some zucchini if you wanted to. Uh, you know, mushrooms. If you like mushrooms, you could do the exact same thing. You could fry up some mushrooms, and then you'll be good to go. Now, look. We're just going to do this and set these aside. We ain't going to let them set too long. Okay? Just let the crust can sit up on here real good. And the key is making sure that oil is nice and hot. Okay? If that oil is not hot, don't put these tomatoes in that grease. It ain't going to come out right. You're going to be shamed. 
and the devil already come to kill, steal, and destroy. Okay? And we don't want that happening on your tomatoes. All right? So let's do a little recap. If you're just joining us, we're having a lovely uh, blood orange uh, daiquiri. Thank you. Dragon, dragonberry vodka and blood orange mix. All right? You hear that pot rattling behind me. That pot is smelling delicious, okay? In that pot happens to be, look at this. See what I'm saying? Look at that. Can you see how well these is coated? Look at that. You can see it. Look at that. I'm coming around. Hold on. Instagram, okay? Oh, not vodka. What I say this is? You know what it is. Rum. Might as well be vodka. Okay, might as well be vodka. Um, okay, so behind me, in the pressure cooker, we have collard greens with lots of good seasoning. Cajun, garlic, onion powder, uh, smoke, liquid smoke we put in there, okay? A little piece of sugar and a lot of oil, all right? We put that in there. And we put in uh, vegetable bouillon. We put in vegetable bouillon and let that go, okay? Now in the oven, in the oven, we got the bread pudding, the day old bread with the custard that we made. Okay, now the custard is the uh, almond milk, brown sugar, a little cinnamon, cornstarch, a little piece of nutmeg. I don't drink all this. I don't drink all this by myself. Ooh, Lord Jesus. Uh, a little piece of nutmeg, some brown sugar, uh, you know, a little piece of salt, a little vanilla, a little piece of white Hennessy, you know, all good things. Okay. Now what we're going to do is two things. We're going to fry these tomatoes up, take you a little pinch of flour, and if it, if it bubble up like that, you can't see it, but if it bubble up, it's ready to go. So we're gonna put this in here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Make sure this oil is up. This is ready to go. Okay. And you see, we let it sit for a little bit. That way, the coating could stick to it. All right. All right. Now we're not gonna crowd the pan. I only put four in here at a time. All right. That's it. Let me get the tongs. All right. So when they're ready, they're ready. Okay, look. Let's make the grits, huh? What y'all think? It's a good time for the grits. Okay, look. The grits been boiling. This is vegetable stock. Well, water is water, and then we added the bouillon to it. Okay. Then, while this is hot, you got to stir in quick cooking grits. Now, the quick cooking grits say they don't take but five minutes. That's a lie. They take about at least 10, 10 to 12 good minutes, okay? But we're going to stir this anyway and put this on low. Okay? Put it on low. That way it could simmer. This is the vegan half and half. I'm going to go and add that right now. Okay? I'm going to go and add the vegan half and half right up in here. All right? That way it get nice and creamy on us. Let me go and flip our tomatoes. Oh, my Lord Jesus. 
qui se mélangent dans ces grands, y'a. The tomatoes do not say long. This is what we're going to do for the tomatoes. If your grease is hot, it don't take long. Huh? Put you a little piece of paper towel. So you can get ready to receive the potatoes. Tomatoes. Not the table. Okay. Look. Look at these grits already. Look at the grits already. Oh. Look at the grits. Oh. Look at that. Oh. Okay, we got six minutes. Okay. Only thing we got to do now is make the glaze. We got to make the glaze for the uh, bread pudding. Can you see this? Can you see? Can you see this? It's kind of bright. Take my word for it. Okay? It's kind of bright. But these are the first, this is the first batch of tomatoes. Let me do the, let me do the second batch, please. Okay? And as soon as the first batch come out, Sprinkle you a little piece of Cajun seasoning right on top. <coughs> put, you, put you a little piece of Cajun seasoning on top of the tomato, okay? All right. Okay, home stretch. Empty bowl. A little piece of powdered sugar. Okay, a little piece of powdered sugar. A little piece of fresh squeezed lemon juice that came from the farmer's market. Okay. A little piece of white Hennessy. Why not? Okay. Why not? Give that a stir. Okay. Give it a stir. Powdered sugar. Low piece of lemon juice. Low piece of white Hennessy. Okay. Who knew vegan could be so good? Vegan could be so good. Look at that. Now, obviously, if you don't have white Hennessy, you can use regular Hennessy. But the glaze, that's the glaze, all right? Let me turn these put, uh, tomatoes over. All right. And these grits. Just need a little butter in them. A little vegan butter, or a lot. They are grits, okay? And I'll put a little bit more of that um, vegan half and half in here to make them nice and creamy. All right. 
Grits are done. Oh, look at this. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Thicker than a snicker, okay? Look at that. All right, all right, grits are ready. The last of our tomatoes are done. Look, and this is why you do that double coating on this like this, because look at that. Okay, now. Okay, to the side for one moment. We just have to make one more dip. Woo-wee, one more dip. And we're ready to go. Vegan sour cream. Don't worry. All these recipes are in the cookbook. Okay? They're in the cookbook. Vegan sour cream. Look. Vegan mayo. Okay? Vegan sour cream. Vegan mayonnaise. Okay? Tastes just like regular mayonnaise. You wouldn't even know it's vegan. You wouldn't even know. Okay? You had no idea. All right, let me just let the pressure off of the pressure cooker. You can do this a couple of ways. You can put this under the um, cold water or put a towel on top. Hold on. Like that. Okay, a little piece of apple cider vinegar. Oh look, um, Instagram gonna cut off. I'm sorry Instagram, you gotta cut off. A little piece of garlic powder. A little piece of onion powder. I'm going to go and restart you, Instagram. Hold on. Let me restart you. Instagram, hold on. Okay? They only give me an hour. They only give me an hour. And you know we be going over sometime. Instagram, hold on. Okay? Here we go. And live video. They having a whole fit over on Instagram. Well, they having a fit over there. Ooh. Okay. What I put in here? Oh, vegan mayonnaise, vegan sour cream, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of apple cider vinegar, a little pinch of sugar, not a lot, all right, and then the key, the key is... dried dill, okay? The key is dried dill weed, okay? Put you some dill in here. If you have fresh, you can use fresh, but I ain't got fresh, okay? So I'm not gonna use fresh, I'm gonna use what I have, and I have dried, okay? So we have essentially made us a little quick sort of dill ranch dressing situation that's gonna go great with it's gonna go fantastic with our uh, tomatoes. All right, let's put the dip here. 
Okay, and this is great on salad or in our case, tomatoes. Thank you. Then what we could do is we could remove the uh, paper towel. It's done its job. And these are all the fried green tomatoes that we made, two tomatoes, all right, that we cooked up. And you put on the plate like this. And you take some fresh, you take your fresh chopped scallions and you put them on the plate just like this. All right, and now look at that. What do we have? We have fried green tomatoes. Okay, look at that. This is great for like a brunch idea and the whole bit, okay? This is fantastic. So I think what we should probably do is taste it. I think what we should probably do it's tasted. Okay, the greens are just about done. Okay, we should probably get in here and taste this. So I'm going to get me a little piece of the tomato. Oh, oh, oh. I'm going to dip mine in. Uh oh, I done lost. I'm going to dip mine in here. Hold on. Look just like this here. Okay, and then I'm. Um, Listen, this don't make no sense. Listen. It don't make no sense. First of all, the crunch is amazing. First of all, the thing about it that makes it so good is you got seasoning on every level. So you got seasoning on the tomato. You got seasoning in the batter. And then we put seasoning throughout the dip. Okay? <coughs> okay. All right. Let's talk about these collard greens and cabbage, okay? Let's talk about the collard greens. Oh, 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 oh. Let's talk about, well, you can't see it. Let me get a bowl. Let me get a bowl. So you could really see what happens Woo with the collard greens Ugh. and the cabbage, okay? Ugh. With all of the pot liquor that's in here. See, that's what I'm trying to tell you. I don't mind a little piece of, you know, soft cabbage on mine. I don't mind that at all. As a matter of fact, I'm actually okay with it. I kind of like it a little bit. Okay? Personally, if you ask me. Now, what I'm going to do is... I'm going to take my thick grits and put my grits on the bottom, you see? Like that. Then I'm going to come in here and I'm going to grab my collard greens, like this, all right? Then, I'm gonna come and grab me a little piece of chopped onion. You could use green, whatever you like, 
okay? Then I'm going to go ahead and go in here, okay? I'm going to go ahead and dig up in here and see what the Lord is talking about with the collard greens and the cabbage. Now, listen, before I dig into this, I just want to make sure you understand what all is happening. We are cooking recipes out of the new cookbook, Vegan But With Soul. The cookbook is available by going to DariusCooks.tv. You can save 30% by using the code GUMBO at checkout, okay? Right now. Listen. Also, Why do I feel like I hear people at my front door? I think I do hear people at my front door. Hold on, y'all. I do. I'm like, I do that on my front door. I'm like, what is going on? You don't have on everything, right? Oh, y'all see me live? Oh, it's okay. It wouldn't be disturbed anyway. My friends are here from Chicago. Okay, listen. They fat too. They smell food. Okay, so, um, oh, don't forget, I'm doing a three-day simulcast. Um, I'm going to show you how to make all the money online that you want to make. All you got to do is go to DariusCooks.tv slash focus to sign up, okay, and then you can sign up. Hi, Tina. Okay, my people are here. So this is um, the collard greens, okay? So I'm going to try these with the greens, okay, so you can see. They hot. The director is here. Who is my life if I can follow up? They want me to hurry up. You're hurt. I'm not person. hurrying. Okay. Listen, person. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a simulcast. Start uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday of this week. If you want the presentation, just go to DariusCooks.tv/focus. And you'll get the notes and everything for this week. We're gonna go live on these same platforms, okay? So, okay, I gotta tell you something. You don't miss the meat at all. You don't miss the meat because the smoked turkey in here, I mean the smoked turkey, Lord Jesus. I done had too many of these. The um the smoked liquid smoke is so amazing. No. It's so good. And if you mix the collard grain with the cabbage, with the grits underneath, mm, I gotta tell you something. It's really good. It's really good. Uh huh. Now, hold on. The bread pudding. The bread book. Y'all call me at work. You know I'm working. The bread book. Okay, look at that. Okay, look at this. This is the bread pudding. Okay, look at the outside. Nice and crusty. <laughs> okay. Now what you do is you take this glaze that got the white Hennessy and the fresh squeezed lemon juice in the glaze, right? And then you just kind of dollop the glaze right on top, ever so carefully, like this, okay? While it's still warm. That way the glaze soak on up into the bread and the bread suck on up, soak on up into the glaze, huh? For the Bible declares what the Lord has put together, huh? Let no man tell asunder. Okay, that is the Bible. That is the book. Okay, and you really can put as much of this as you want to. I'm gonna put that much. All right. I hate to do this to y'all. I swear. I hate doing this. This is the part I really don't like the most. But I'm going to get in here 
And I'm gonna, I'm gonna take me a little swig of this. Look at this. I can't even get it on the foot. Oh. Lord, we just come right now to thank you. For the word declares that man shall not live by bread alone. So we added the white Hennessy and the glaze to go with it. We thank you for the white Hennessy right now. And we thank you for the bread. These blessings we ask in your son Jesus' name. We do pray. Oh, amen. Recipes like this in the cookbook. They're in the cookbook. DariusCooks.tv. Grab the cookbook. Use the code Gumbo to save 30%. Okay? What else you want me to tell you? Fried green tomato, collard greens cabbage, with the grits that we cook. In 20 minutes with the pressure cooker, okay? The bread pudding with the wine honey. There's two things I want to tell you, as I always do. Listen, y'all. Food is my life. Life is my food. Until next time. I got to wish you happy cooking, happy baking, and happy eating. From my heart to yours. Bye, y'all. <laughs> mm. Get the book.